talk by Jasna Jakšić and Tihana Pouts. The title of their presentation is as follows, Artists' Networks in the Context of Institutional and Personal Archives, Museums of Contemporary Art, Zagreb. I give a brief introduction to both uh, presenters. Uh, Jasna Jakšić is a curator and art critic based in Zagreb. She graduated in art history, Italian language and literature and librarianship from the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences at the University of Zagreb. She has been working in the Museum of Contemporary Art Zagreb since 2004, where she manages the Library Documentation and Information Department. She has curated numerous exhibitions and coordinated international collaboration projects, including digitizing ideas and performing the museum. And she has also done um, other um, curatorial work uh, too copious to summarize. Uh, a few brief remarks about Ikhana Putz, who graduated with a degree in art history and ethnology from the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences um, at the University of Zagreb in Croatia. She holds a PhD in management and development of cultural heritage from the IMT, the Institute for Advanced Studies in Lucca, Italy. Italy. She worked as a research assistant at the Department of Art History, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences at the University of Rijeka and as a curator um, at, of contemporary art in Zagreb. So with this, I'd like to hand over to, um, um, to Jasna and Tihana. Thanks, Sven, for a nice introduction. Um, I would just like to uh, excuse my uh, dear friend and colleague, Tihana Putz. She, uh, unfortunately, she got really uh, sick uh, recently and she couldn't join us. The trip was just too long. So, but she sends her best regards. And in the presentation, I will uh, talk for two of us. So just um, when I use we, it means Tihana and me because we really worked a lot and her, her contribution is really great. Um, so uh, the, the presentation will somehow summarize uh, her research that she did, uh, that Tihan did on uh, uh, on artist networks with some actually with uh, some resource, uh, resources and uh, various digitization uh, digitization projects that we had uh, that we have in the museum. So just a second. Okay. I will first give you a basic structure of the presentation, as you can see on the slide. Uh, we will begin briefly uh, introducing the topic of artists and exhibitions archive in the digital environment in Croatia, focusing on the availability of data and research possibilities. And from there, we will move on to the case of the Museum of Contemporary Art in Zagreb. And finally, to the overlaps between institutional and personal archives as means of exploring the artist networks as well as uncovering previously neglected research areas. Mm -hmm. As the creation of digital archives of contemporary and modern artists, along with archives of exhibitions and art catalogs, has grown significantly over the past decades. Not only has the accessibility of visual and textual material improved, but the structured data produced has encouraged the application of quantitative and computational methods in the analysis of artistic phenomena. It is in particular the study of exhibitions that have profited from the production of the structured data. The exhibitions have been research source for a considerable time now, since they indicate, in Pierre Boudot's sense, artistic consecration and in the art field, circuits of distribution coincide with circuits of identification and valuation of artists. Thus, studying the exhibitions proved to be valuable insights into the artistic circulation into the development of their careers and into the configuration of networks between, uh, between the actors and the institutions involved. We will mention only several studies and they are given on the slide. Among the historical examples is the white study on the impressionists. And even if today the, the conclusions are by and large, large rejected, their methodology was innovative at the time and was the White's methodology included counting, among others, impressionist exhibitions, which enabled them to trace the, st the stages through which the artist's career developed. Another example is a remarkable research by Sophie Richard on conceptual artists between 1967 and 1977, in which she, by the analysis of exhibitions and artist CVs, reconstructed artists' careers and the network of artists and institutions. 
Such research intensified in particular with the affirmation of quantitative methods in art history and subsequent developments in the field of digital art history. On the slide we listed only a couple of digital art history projects that deal with the exhibition set as art, art of at S, exhibit U, etc. However, in spite of the remarkable growth of digital resources, there are still gaps that reflect global unevenness. In particular, this affects the visibility of artists, art production, and research from outlying regions. If you focus on the case of Croatia and its contemporary artists, on one side, the global sources do not cover them well enough, while the local sources of structured data are more than scarce. As example, in the global databases of exhibitions such as Artfacts.net, which empirical researchers often use as a resource source, source and which accurately capture the top level, the data on those artists from Croatia, apart from several international established artists, is at best incomplete. On the slide, you can see some errors and gaps, as for example, Nemanja Cvitanovic, presented as a female artist, or barely any data on the city of Bay, Rijeka on artist info. Such a situation naturally impacts the research itself. Areas for which there is no data are naturally less researched, and where the data is inaccurate, incomplete, or missing, the research results are biased. Thus, one of our tasks is to produce that data, and as Nuriel Rodriguez Ortega, Ortega emphasized, that is the responsibility of art historians to detect uncovered cultural domains and to contribute to produce new structured data. And that task is pressing for the region, and in specific for Croatia, considering the overall lack of data on art. If we want to participate in the fast-growing field of data-driven research and analysis, we are the ones that need to produce well-structured and well-curated data. However, presently, the potential for using the digital archives of uh, contemporary artists from Croatia for exploring their networks, networks is rather limited, as the data in them is rarely structured. In that respect, the Museum of Contemporary Art in Zagreb did play and could play a significant role, and before passing to the case of the museum, we will mention several studies that relate to the above-mentioned research, in which the museum archives of artists and exhibitions were used as a research source and a source of network data. The examples relate both to the institutional and the personal archives of MSU that we will focus on in the second part of the presentation. Um, so, we just have a little... Okay. But... So, uh, basically, Tihana did this visualization, but we will go on the end of it, because it lasts for, like, it's a longer than six minutes. So, if you want, we can play it all. The only thing, you just have to find the... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, no, we will just go to the very end, and then if there is any, okay? Oh, sorry. No. Yes, no. Because, or we can just show it like on the. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so this is how practically. Maybe we just go briefly on the end, not to lose too much time. But it's just like how it, okay. You can more or less imagine how uh, the end will be. But uh, how do we turn back on the, okay. okay. No. 
sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, the institutional archive of exhibitions was one of the uh, was one of the sources for the visualizations visualization that you saw. And here the exhibitions were used as a source of mapping the geographical and institutional movement of 49 contemporary artists from Croatia over a 20 uh, year period from 91 to 2012. And now on uh, this slide, you can see the institutional archive of exhibitions that was used as a source by international researchers as well. And it was the online archive of exhibitions available at the time that was used for a research conducted at ACK Center at Bocconi in Milan in which the selection mechanisms of institutions represented by 34 museums, including uh, Zagreb Museum, were contrasted with the selection mechanisms of commercial sphere represented by Art Basel. And here, a personal archive of Ivan Pitzel, which is now part of documentation department in museum, was used as a source for the construction of the network fragment of uh, Trigon 67. Uh, Trigon was a biennial of three countries uh, and it's in uh, 67 somehow launched the experimental period of Trigon that lasted from late 60s to early 70s. Uh, and it was also very important, uh, it was a very, uh, a very important activation for internationalization and uh, of artists from former Yugoslavia. A network representing the connections between a selection of artists that exhibited at the exhibitions and the institutions that they exhibited in over 20 year period during <coughs> 60s and 70s. And Ivan Pitzel was one of the nodes in the network, and the data from his personal archive was used for the network analysis. And the archive of new tendencies and the data from museum documentation were, um, were also used for reconstructing the personal network of the artist Almir Mavigné, a key, a key person of the international new avant-garde movement of new tendencies, which was uh, as a part of a digital art history research project, Artnet modern and contemporary artist networks, art groups and art associations, organization and communication models of artist collaborative practices in the 20th and 21st century, conducted at the Institute of Art History in Zagreb that re resulted, among others, with a database, uh, Kenis, which is one of the rarest, rare sources of structured data on modern and contemporary arts in Croatia. And Okay, so now we will pass briefly to some examples from Museum of Contemporary Art and to some digitization projects. Uh, for more than two decades, the documentation and the information department of Museum of Contemporary Art has been digitizing museum documentation and structuring data and collection. In fact, a former head of documentation department, unfortunately late, late Maria Gatin, uh, was one of the founders of National Core Group for Museum Digitization back in the 90s. And it is no coincidence that uh, uh, particularly, uh, um, particularly uh, archival material related to the new tendencies movement um, was somehow given priority in the digitization project. Furthermore, particularly through digitization projects, the photo library of the documentation and information department, compromising valuable photographs of exhibition uh, displays and openings, as well as artworks, often made by eminent art photographers, like this is one of the examples. This is uh, uh, the photo documentation of display of uh, the exhibition, abstract art, the, the exhibition, it, it was done by uh, Nenad Gatin, became widely known to the general public. In addition, by storing and processing materials, which if not mediating the artwork directly, then at least its context, MSU Documentation and Information Department has collected and mediated in its boxes, portfo portfolios, and databases not only the history of contemporary art and the history of art history, but also the history of its mediation. It is the considerable interest of researchers, especially from an international perspective, that gave additional boost to the digitization of documentation materials. In 2008, for the first time in Croatia Museum, Museum's website presented uh, not only its, its, uh, all of its collections, but also big, uh, a big quantity of museum catalogs, archives of exhibitions, or at least lists of exhibitions that were in archives, and the selections uh, from the digitized photo library, enabling online access to the library catalog. It was a boost to upcoming digitization projects that, that were extending access to the artwork beyond the photo display on the screen and basic metadata. And just before moving to the new venue, now in Novi Zagreb, where you who 
have visited the museum and building upon the years long digitization project of the museum collection, uh, another project, Digitizing Idea, was initiated. Um, and uh, also the uh, Ivan Pitzel's archive was uh, a big resource for another digitization project entitled Experiment with the Avant-Garde with the holdings relating to the Exit 51 and new tendencies materials and finally the didactic, the didactic exhibition. The core of the museum archives are files that keep records on exhibitions as well as artist files, but some special collections, many donated to the museum, were initially formed as private. Special sections include, among others, the archive of the former director, Bojo Beck, the archive of new tendencies, personal archives of artists as Ivan Pizzer and Marino Tartaglia, as well as smaller but important sections with materials related to the smaller venue, to, to venues as uh, important venues, we are, which were not part of the museum, they were independent, as extended media gallery and podrum, as well as historical projects, uh, the projects, uh, projects as new artistic practice and series of exhibitions, called Motobus Meeting uh, Initiative by Museum and the Cavallino Gallery from Venice. One of the first exhibitions of the museum, as, one, as well as one of the highlights of the collection of the archive, was so-called didactic exhibition, dedicated to the promotion of the abstract art in Yugoslavia. A historical and pioneering educational project produced by, by, uh, by the former City, of, uh, City Gallery of Contemporary Art, now museum, in uh, 57, and designed as a traveling exhibition was intended to educate audiences about contemporary and or at least about what the creators thought was contemporary for them abstract art. Even as a supporting exhibition consisting of 92 panels on which photographs and reproductions from books and magazines. So here you see, oh sorry, here practically uh, you have uh, uh, images where were, uh, were plates taken from books. That, uh, from books that somehow the authors of the uh, the authors of the display donated to to the archive. Uh, the exhibition, uh, sorry, 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 uh, uh, from Paul Cezanne. Where you, so you see, you see you see him at the beginning, and also here is like the the diagram on the on the synthesis of art which was kind of a copy of Bar's, uh, Bar's diagram uh, from the exhibition Cubism and Abstract Art. In its very conception, the exhibition steps, out, steps outside of the format of museum education. The reason or excuse for its realization was an exhibition of uh, prints by members of uh, ESPAS group, Edgar Fie, uh, Victor Vazarelli, and André Bloch. It was proposed to the Gallery of Contemporary Art by art critic Josip De Polo. It was probably the most visited exhibition of contemporary art in then Yugoslavia. After Zagreb, it went to the Gallery of Fine Arts in Rijeka and then toured as record show at least in 10 cities. Streamed from today's perspective, through the actual selection of canonical works of art, the exhibition raises the issue of the political and cultural significance of the concept of modernity in the area of art and of the relationship between originals and copies and the right to distribute copies while inevitably addressing the policies of establishing canons and stories in history of art. Its undistinguished bias makes it valuable witness to the desire to build up institutions and their audiences. Um, so I will just, now since the text is a little bit too long, sorry for talking so much, but uh, I will just now briefly pass through the photo materials. So, uh, and here you have, uh, also panels from the didactic exhibition. And uh, they actually, uh, uh, this one was prob it's probably the most, reproduced, the, the, the most reproduced one, is just a small section on sculpture. And it reproduces a work by Nicolas, uh, a French sculptor and experimental art artist, Nicolas Chauffeur. And uh, in Ivan Pizzi's private archive, uh, we, found, uh, we found other photographs. So this was just one of the selection and also a short Sorry, it's here. So here are the photographs from Ivan Pizzi's private archive. And also a short, a short description or a short essay on dance and sculpture. Um, and uh, basically also when you go to the, we also check the records, uh, the records of uh, exhibitions in um, uh, at the uh, Ar Archive of Art History, which is part of National Academy of Arts and Sciences. And we also saw this uh, like a 
templates from 50s where you practically have like the exhibition titles and uh, catalog uh, information on reproductions, photographs, and so on, and visitors. And you don't see it here, but you will maybe see on the other example, which is something completely different, uh, but it was the exhibition that took part in Zagreb in the same time. You have uh, data on, uh, how many, uh, on how many works were sold and uh, how much was paid for the works in total. And so it's just a resource from another archive, but it is, uh, it's just shows how institutional archives can really uh, give uh, unexpected resources for other, for other researchers. And here, okay, uh, I would just like to show you uh, only a few examples or a few links from Digitizing Ideas portal. Also, which was also partly based on uh, private ar uh, on archives given from private persons to the museum, in this case, uh, Goran Peter Zoll gave his archive. Uh -huh. Okay, sorry. So just a small archive of the Gallery of Extended Media that was run by uh, Mladen Stelinovic in the 80s, uh, and also uh, an uh, artist, famous artist, and also like some famous artists as, uh, for example, uh, Goran Djordjevic or Goran Trboljak and or uh, Dmitry Basicevic uh, Mangelos had their, exhibition, uh, had their exhibitions in Extended Media Gallery, and the archive with invitations and leaflets is, at the, uh, is in the museum holdings. And uh, how do I go out? Sorry. Okay. So, but then I won't show you other examples. But I will just like to show you one which is also complementary with uh, Pizzel Archive, and also and also another private, uh, like uh, another private archive, the archive of uh, photographer uh, Tosho Dabat. Uh, practically, okay. I will just uh, briefly, uh, briefly tell you, tell you, uh, tell you this story. In uh, as a part of exhibition tendencies for the Paolo, Italian artist Paolo Scheggi presented the performance uh, of plastic uh, passion according to uh, Paolo Scheggi. And as a part of museum program, as it was the part of museum program, uh, photographs are in um, in a museum documentation. And so these are photos of the performance. Uh, uh, it happened uh, 50, uh, a little bit more than 50 years ago. Uh, but what, was f what we found in uh, Ivan Pitzel's archive, basically uh, you have also photos of the exhibition, of the performance and the exhibition uh, type poetry, uh, which was opened by the performance. And also you have photographs of the party. So this is also in a museum, uh, in a museum archive, uh, museum director, Bozo Beck, and the curator of the exhibition, Biljana Tomic. And, but these are photos by uh, Ada Ardesi, Italian photographer, and she photographed, uh, the, she photographed the edition of New Tendencies. So I will just finish with a wild party after a performance back in 1968. And here you have also Ivan Pizzel, so the, the, whose archive we have, and he was just a dancing star of the, of the show. Uh, but those photographs were taken from one file from uh, the uh, private archive of Peter Davac. And so you have this file which is now empty in his archive and photographs somehow ended up in Pizzel's private archive. So thanks a lot for your uh, attention and sorry maybe for being so long with time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, now I think uh, the program calls for a break, a coffee break. And after that, the second half of the panel will happen. Yes, I, I suggest to keep your comments for the round table and then we can keep time. Short yeah, a short question to Jasna. <laughs> Sorry. No, Jasna, just have a tiny question of understanding. <laughs> yes. In the animated map, the colors meant the individual artists, right? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes. Uh, Please come back at 12 sharp. This is when we will start the second part of the first session. Thank you.